Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're going to do a video on installing a new shower head for our RV shower. Um, I picked this guy because it says it was low flow and uh, my old one was just kind of outdated and very old and uh, so I was going to go ahead and put this guy on. This is a really, really easy process. Uh, it took me about 30 minutes total and uh, that was the shooting everything. So very, very simple install that just about anybody can do with your existing RV shower. And uh, I'm going to just take you right out there. We're going to do a real quick unboxing of the shower that I picked and then do a sped up version of the install because it's really, really easy. And then I'll do some flow comparisons between the old one and the new one. And so we can kind of check out the different shower heads side by side after they're all installed. So let's get out there and check it out. All right, well, let's check out the flow of this original shower head, which we have right here. Let's see how well that does when we turn that guy on. That's a generous stream. It sure does burn through water though. It goes through a lot of water. And the, the stream's okay. It's not great, but it's, it's okay. So let's see how long that takes to fill up uh, some of our bucket here. I'll also point out that it does have a stop start button on it, but it's really hard to press and it doesn't work all that great. So here we go, starting off just by opening the box. We're going to go ahead and cut open the little tapes right here so I can go ahead and pull that out for you. We're going to have about a four foot hose is the first thing that's going to pull out for us here. That's more than enough to get from your faucet almost all the way up to your uh, ceiling in the RV shower there. Then we're going to have your little on off switch there. That's your low flow to your full flow switch and also your mounting bracket so you can attach the shower head at the top and easily take it off if you want to use it some other way. And here's the head itself. And we're also going to have with that kit some uh, plumber's tape and your directions and all that good stuff. Now, in order to get started here, we just have to unscrew the old one from the bottom of the faucet. And it came right off. I didn't even have to use pliers, which is great. You can see our little faucet connection right there. You're going to put a little bit of plumber's tape around that before you attach this guy. And uh, then just screw it on by hand. And I had zero leaks. And I'll show you what I mean by the plumber's tape here in just a second. Here's the plumber tape right there, and you're going to go to wrap that clockwise, just three or four turns. And that kind of helps the thread seal so you don't have any slow drips or anything like that. And uh, you're going to attach those to most of your screw-on connections. Now we're going to attach our little low flow button right here, so you can hit that when you're lathering up and save yourself some water. It still shoots out a little trickle, but uh, that's just so you can kind of keep lathering up your soap and you're good to go. Now it comes time to kind of, uh, you know, again, I'm going to use plumber's tape to connect these two areas here. Just wrap it clockwise about three turns to make sure that we're not going to have any leaks. And this is at the bottom of the low flow attachment. And I also wrapped the top of the low flow attachment. So we're not going to have any leaks there. Attach the top of your hose, just hand tight there and you're all ready to go. Now we need to figure out exactly where to mount our holding bracket. So just put it in the bracket, kind of hold it until it's a, its maximum height, then you can still adjust everything to where you want it. And uh, then I, I don't think you can really see it here because I'm in the way, but I'm gonna take just a normal carpenter's pencil and mark the two sides of that so I know exactly where I wanted it after I kind of figured out where it was gonna have full mobility and I liked it. So now I'm just gonna mark that with a pencil and apply my tape. You have two, uh, you have three strips. You just put them on there, pull off both sides of the tape, stick it onto the pencil marks and give it a nice hard press. And that is fully attached to that 3M tape. So now we can put our shower up there and we are good to go. So now we have our nice new faucet. Let's check out the steam on that guy. <clears throat> Very nice stream there. Let's check out the low flow button. So now you can just kind of lather up and it's still going to send you out a little tiny trickle so you can kind of stay, you know, <laughs> well, I guess warm or whatever. And then if you want to finish up, you just hit that button. And go slow, lather up, or full. Okay, so we're going to turn on this faucet and immediately start our stopwatch here. So let's do it. Okay, 
gonna keep going until it spills right over the top here. And that's it, stopping it right there. Turning the water off. And we are left with three minutes and 40 seconds for five gallons of water. So we have our timer set up right here. And we're gonna go for it. There we go. And we are running. And we are just about to overflow. And as soon as we do, there we go. I'm stopping it. Okay, so we stopped our time. I'm going to turn this guy off. So there we go. All right, well, there you go. I was kind of hoping that the new faucet would take much longer to fill up the bucket than the original one did. The new faucet head ended up filling up the bucket in four minutes, whereas the old one filled it up in three minutes and 40 seconds. That 20 second difference does indicate that the new shower head does put out less water and it does have a much nicer stream, more pressure, it's more uniform. I think if you had a lot of hair to wash out the shampoo, that would do a really good job for you. And it did use less water, not a ton, but I think that just means that the old RV shower head was probably a low flow itself. So it did cut down the time and it's updated the model and it has a nice stream of water to it. The low flow button on the shower head itself works a lot better. It just shoots out a little stream so you can keep lathering up your soap, lather up your body. And then when you turn it on full stream, you can rinse yourself off real quick. And that's really gonna be where you save a lot of your water. You could also just turn down your knobs a little bit for less pressure if you wanted. But I did all these tests at full pressure. So very easy job. And now we have an updated RV shower head. And I will put a link in the description below if you'd like to pick up that particular one or just shop other uh, stuff on Amazon using my link. That really helps me out. So that about covers it. If this helped you out, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that. Until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.